Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Theodore here and today we're going to be doing something really fun, something really interesting. This is my new camera. Ta -da! A couple weeks ago, um, I started this project called Taking a Picture Every Day for the Rest of My Life. Which I have not even edited the video yet because there's just... Guys, honestly, I was trying to BS something, but really I was just watching a whole bunch of dramas and I have been really lazy to edit. That's all. Obsessed over buying a new camera because I was so in love with the Lomo Player Jardine. So I went on to eBay, good old eBay, and I bought another camera, the Lomo Instant Square. Ta -da! I, I don't know, I have not tried this camera yet. Today that's what we're gonna be doing. It opens up like this. Kinda looks like one of those very old vintage cameras with like the, you know, the blanket over on top and then you take a picture, right? And it takes the Instex square film. And I also got a bunch of these. I got 10 packs of these on Amazon for really cheap because they're almost expired. They expire September 2020, so I got one month to use them. This camera is perfect. Um, the only thing that's missing is like the camera strap, which I've kind of make do with this like little ribbon thing that all H&M shirts come with and I just cut them off. I hate those stringy things on my shirts, so I cut them all off and this is one of them and I was like, whoa. I can make use of it and I'm it's like a little camera strap not the best camera strap not gonna lie but um, it works for now and here's the box you don't really need an unboxing those are boring oh my god I have allergies and I still have allergies I don't know why I still have allergies in the middle of summer so here's the box that it came with this is just like stickers and magnets and stands and photo stands and fun stuff like that but i don't know what's inside this box so oh it's just photo cards honestly like i don't know why they give you it like this oh i guess it tells you what and how you can create the photo auto mode auto mode awesome okay i'm gonna put the film in this camera just to see what it looks like um, if it doesn't oh guys I did not know this but look at this there's like this flap on the side and it opens up oh my gosh and you know what you could do with this box you could definitely leave your pictures in here while you go around and take photos I usually just pull it right up from the top but that's not very cool it's not very innovative this is the shutter button right here, guys. The thing that says Lomo, this is the shutter button. Isn't that cool? Okay, I'm gonna flash you guys. Oh, I, I guess not. It doesn't go off. Okay. Let go. Guys, I don't really know where to take you. <laughs> There's nothing. <laughs> because of COVID and then also I live in Utah, there's really nothing, unless I go in like way south in the middle of nowhere in like Moab where the arches are or whatever, there's nothing to take a picture of. Oh my gosh, I don't know where I'm driving right now. I just don't really know what I'm gonna do. This is hard. Um, pray for me, please. By the time you watch this video, it's already gonna be done for, but anyways. Please pray for me. <laughs> One eternity later. It's gonna be a food with Theo today. We're gonna be going to go buy food and then I'm gonna go to the park next door and then we're just gonna sit there and we're just gonna eat and then have some good time, okay? I've been drinking this um, really, I guess, healthy drink. Um, it's a mixture of five types of nuts like walnuts, almonds, like really healthy nuts like instead of protein powder that's what I put in and then on top of that I also put in another one which I recently discovered yesterday it just tastes really good it tastes a little bit sweeter but it's not like from like sugar or anything I think it's just the nature of it in some vitamin C 
and then I also put in um, a collagen powder not a protein powder I'm not trying to like bulk up or anything to put some MCT oil which I think is the most important aspect of the whole drink is the MCT oil I just feel happier I don't know if that's even true it's probably just like a placebo effect but I definitely feel like my brain juices are moving more it's just like I want to be able just to do more stuff um, so I've been drinking that hence the video today that's why I'm making a video today because I feel just a little bit more happy and energetic I guess and yeah I've been drinking that it tastes doesn't taste the best but it is really really healthy for you we're here at Chick-fil-a and there's people ordering all right order like a chicken sandwich and some fries and good stuff good how are you doing good can i get a name for your order um yes sammy sammy how can i serve you today uh i just want like a spicy chicken sandwich combo all right guys um i have been really infatuated or in love with watching dramas lately hence that is why i have not been editing my videos like I'm supposed to but um yeah I've been really into just watching like it's okay to not be okay and then I watched the first season of um what's it called candle in the tomb oh my gosh guys that drama is so good hey Sammy I had a spicy sandwich meal whoa loud <laughs> medium size with a root beer and chick-fil-a sauce yep how do you guys know which car is which so they come in and they actually have like car descriptions on them I think she totally saw you guys. I wasn't that sneaky. I'm not a very good vlogger. Watching all those dramas, and those dramas are pretty good so far right now. I'm watching a Taiwanese called, uh, drama called Lost in Romance, which is like kind of like a W type of vibe. She wrote this like comic, and now she's living her comic, which is pretty crazy and she's not the main protagonist in the um in the whole story so it really pisses her off because it's like her dream but it's she's not living her own story so yeah it's pretty funny to watch so far although i did fall asleep while watching it last night but whatever good thing you don't have to wear a mask for drive through because honestly i forgot my mask yeah. Uh, Sammy? yeah oh here we are oh number one Thank you. I got it. Hey guys, I have found the park. I thought there wasn't going to be an entryway in because the road was blocked, but there was. I found the park. Look, flowers. I need to go grab something to sit on because that would be really pokey if I sat on just grass. Welcome to Theo's Book Bang Show. I rarely ever do this type of stuff for myself. If I go to the park, I usually take Jack and Winnie with me, but it's really hot. I don't want to give them heat stroke or anything, so I left them at home today. I, I always go by the name Sammy whenever I'm ordering takeout or anything. I just don't want people to know my name. I'm gonna actually give this to the guy a little shoot. Oh my god! I just took a picture! I accidentally pushed the, f the shutter button, guys. I didn't even get to turn off the flash. I didn't think I need flash, but I guess I need flash now. I want to take a picture of that squirrel, but I don't know if he's still around. Hmm. Oh well, I'm gonna start eating. There's so many noises around me. It's kind of scaring me because there's so many things that's popping out. I'm not a very outdoorsy person, if you can't tell. 
Mm. Yum. I tried the um, Popeye's spicy chicken sandwich, and I've got to say, that one does taste better than the Chick-fil-A one. A lot more crispy, um, and the flavoring is pretty good, but this is the OG one, so i got to give credit to this one first. I always like to put some Chick-fil-A sauce in my sandwich. Mmm, so good. turning on. I hope they don't spray over here. <sighs> now for the real filming stuff. Guys, it tells you how many exposures you have left on the side of the camera by these little dots. So it looks like I've taken three pictures, which is true, I've taken three pictures. And there's still seven little dots left. There's actually a little tripod mount on the bottom of the camera, so I'm gonna mount it on my tripod. And then I'm gonna test out the little remote feature. I'm gonna pretend like I'm eating my Chick-fil-A. I have switched to my little um, DJI Osmo Pocket because my camera is out of battery. But there was a lot of people coming over there. And I'm very camera shy in front of people, I guess. I don't think the auto button really works. Let me turn off the slash. Turn it off. And give it a little soft timer. And see if it work. Oh my god! I got it! Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Thank you. Oh, I think I dropped my straw somewhere, but I don't know where my straw is. And this has boba in it. Oh, goodness. Thank God I'm a hoarder and I have kept these from other boba trips. I've never tried this place. Let me try. Magic boba. It has lemongrass, peach, and some other thing in here. I don't remember, but it has magic boba. Oh, definitely taste the peach and the lemongrass. I just don't know what the other thing is. Probably like a long tea or something. Oh, that was really refreshing. I really wish I had two of these. Well, thanks to technology, I can have two of these. I'm gonna use my cheese ball thing 
as a container to put on top. I'm gonna hold it. Oh my god, I don't know how this is gonna work. <laughs> I'm gonna do a double exposure of me sitting here. Right here. Like this, okay? Okay, one exposure. I'm gonna go into the side. Oh my god. I need to drink a little bit. Oh, so refreshing. Okay, I want the picture now. I think I push the double exposure button again. Yeah, I was right. Okay, I did it. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Okay guys, so in order for the double exposure to work, so you first gotta set it up on double exposure, obviously. You take the pictures that you want, right? Say two of yourself or something. So you have one side here and one an image here and an image of your other self here already. Then you push this button, the double exposure button again for the picture to come out. You don't have to un um, touch it until you're done with your double exposure. Okay, I can't wait to see my picture. I really don't know what the auto, I mean the time is for, cause I click on it every time. And it doesn't really do anything. See, look, it doesn't really do anything. I thought, I was hoping it would give me like a self timer or something, but it doesn't. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. I so love this camera. I love this camera so much, guys. I'm so excited. This camera is so interesting. Alrighty guys, we are back here now and I am just going to give my final thoughts on this camera. So after taking about 11 photos with this camera, I think that the photo quality of this camera is just like really crisp. It looks like as if I took this on my digital camera and then printed it out, although it's not a digital camera, it's an analog camera, but it's just so crisp. Another thing is that this camera is really, really, really compact and I like that because I, for the most part, I'm usually just filming the stuff all by myself and nobody really comes around with me unless like I have a friend or like my mom comes with me so I like things that are really compact just makes it really easy to carry around and 
um, easy just to stick into like any small bag. Although I did have to take my Canon DSLR bag with me. I wouldn't say that it's necessary, but for me it was because I also had a vlogging camera with me. But for the most part, I think this is really light and compact. And I like it because it has a tripod mount. Something a lot of cameras lack nowadays. And I know a lot of you guys tell me, well, um, the reason why it doesn't have it is because it doesn't have like bulb mode or whatnot. But I really think that um, cameras that have the timer setting, um, those cameras should have a little tripod mount because you want to take pictures with like your group of friends or like you know you just you just need like a tripod mount in general I feel like I don't think it's just for bulb mode I think it's necessary for every camera to have it and this having that is another thing that I want to talk about is this camera has a really really interesting design like initially when you first open it you think you look at this camera and you're like so you're gonna be taking a picture like this you know kind of like one of those old-fashioned film like video recorders but no you have to open it up like this which also is another interesting design it looks like this and my mom brought up like this reminds her of the old old fashion film cameras where you have to like put a blanket on top of your head yesterday and I was just like yeah that's true and I'm not the only one that sees it. She sees it too. So I don't really want to go into like the specs of it, but this camera is a 95 millimeter lens film camera, which is equivalent to a 45 millimeter lens. I don't really know what that means, but I do know that when I take a photo, like say a portrait photo or like a macro photo, like a really up close, the pictures are a little bit blurrier. Those or this photo of the flowers, it's a little bit more blurry um the lens can't seem to find like a subject to focus on so that's why this is a little bit blurry so i would say like pictures that are way up close it has a really hard time focusing on i mean even sometimes with my digital camera or even my iphone it won't focus with things up close so let alone an analog camera um, another thing i came across is that i figured i find that this lens is a little bit just a little bit slower the shutter is just not as fast as I had uh, thought it would be I don't know but this photo if you guys can see it this is the picture of me eating hot pot at night with my parents and the the chopsticks are kind of blurry the 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 pot and the stuff in the pot is kind of blurry and that could be because of me shaking but for the most part I shake a lot of times when I take photos but never has my picture ever been kind of like motion blurred like that so that's another thing that I came across another thing okay so I'm uh, you guys all know that I love bulb mode and I'm so happy that this camera has bulb mode and um you could do a lot of things with bulb mode you can light draw or you could do like motion blurs and you can do a lot of fun stuff um, but I chose to light draw and when you do bulb mode you have to make sure you either have somebody with you or you have a hair clip that could clip the shutter button as you do whatever you're doing that's how I did it I used a hair clip and I just clipped this button down as I was doing whatever I was doing and then that worked but it was just a little bit of a hassle and kind of difficult to do because I wasn't really sure when the shutter had already gone off. In order to do bulb mode by yourself though you would need a clip and also you need to turn on the self timer so that you would have time to go over to your other subject and then light draw and stuff like that. So that's the only thing that I found that was a little bit difficult with um, bulb mode but if you have a friend or if you have a family member or whoever that is willing to help you they can help they could hold the shutter button for you and then you can do whatever you want so that's pretty much it I really do like this camera this is a really 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 fun camera um, I had a lot of fun just like messing around with it and just like learning the functions and stuff like that although I must say a lot of these functions are pretty much the same as the Lomo Player Jardine, which takes Instax mini photos. This one takes the Instax 
square photos only. So you gotta make sure you are buying the right correct film for it. Don't be buying Instax mini film for this camera, it will not work. Or even Instax wide film, it will not work. I know for a lot of like the Instax wide and the Instax mini people get confused, um, but yeah, just don't buy the wrong film. This camera only takes Instax square film. From Fujifilm, that is, don't buy it from Polaroid. There's just so many things that you just have to know and be careful of when you buy this film. If you guys haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below. And if you guys like this video, please do give a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time. Anyway, adios!